All right, here we go. I'm going to do this pyramid or sorry, swimming pool problem. Um, it's a nice challenging one. I'm going to change up the numbers a little bit so you can't actually get this exact problem. So we're going to change this nine to a six and we're going to change this to a hundred minutes. Everything else we're going to keep the same. So this is actually a six. Okay, so the question is, how long, well, there's a bunch of questions. Um, the first one is, how fast is the water level rising? Um, and we're going to have to come up with a couple of equations, well, one equation, and differentiate it to figure out the answer to that. And then at the end, we'll figure out how long it takes to fill the pool. Now, this pool, what makes this problem difficult is that it's two different solids on top of each other. You have to think about it. If we look at it from the side, so if we're looking at this side view, we have a triangle and then a rectangle on top of it. And then we're going a distance of 20. And then, so we're thinking about this as a triangular prism with a skinny rectangular prism on top of it. And then 50 going this way. And it goes, an overall height of six, but the triangular portion is now five because at this end we have a height of one, which matches with this one right here. So altogether this is six, but the triangular portion is five. So in order to figure out how fast the water level is ri rising at 100 minutes, we need to see if we've filled up the triangular portion or not. So we need to figure out how much volume is in the triangular portion or the triangular prism portion. So over here on the side, we're going to look at just the triangular part. So we've got 20 by 5 by 50. And the volume for any solid, pretty much, is capital B times H. Sometimes you put a one-third in front. B is the area of the base. In this case, the base is a triangle. So we're going to have one-half times the little base times the height. So 50 times 5, and then the height of the prism, which is 20. So half of 20 is 10. And then we'd have 250 times 10, so 2,500. It doesn't really matter exactly how much this is, just that it's more than 100. Because if we're at 100 minutes, and we've been going at a rate of 1 meter cubed per minute, so far our volume is 100 meters cubed. And the question is, have we filled up this triangular portion yet or not? Because that's what we're going to need to look at. That volume formula when we're figuring out what the volume, or sorry, the rate of change of the water level is. So since the volume of the water, this is the water volume, at 100 minutes would be 100 meters cubed, we haven't reached the 2,500 meters cubed that takes up the triangular prism portion. So that means we're still filling up this triangular prism. Now, if we think about the triangular portion there, at 100 minutes, we will have only filled up some portion of it. And we're going to call that the height. Now, this is not going to be 50. The whole triangle is 50, just like the whole triangle is 5. But this portion, we don't know. So I'm going to just call this x, because I like to use x as my unknown. Now, the formula to figure out the volume is still going to need to be multiplied by this 20. So at any given time, we'd be doing x times h times a half times 20. So the volume, as we're filling it up, would be 1 half times x times h times 20 because we've got a half times x times h, and then 20. Now, we have to figure out how to relate x and h. So if we think about the triangle that has 
H and X, it's similar to the triangle that has 50 and 5. This is not drawn to scale. So then we can match them up in a fraction. X over 50 equals H over 5. So 5X equals 50H. Um, we're going to want to know about the height later, so we want to keep H in our equation. So I can divide both sides by 5, and I would get X equals 10H. So I can plug that 10H in here. So the volume would be 1 half times 10H times H times 20. So we've got H squared 20 times 10 is 200. Half of that is 100. So at 100 minutes, an equation that relates V and H is this. V equals 100 H squared. Getting to this part is the hard part. And you might want to hit rewind and rewatch this video. Um, hopefully I explained it correctly. Anyway, now the calculus part, and this becomes fairly easy. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to time. So dv dt equals 200h times dh dt. Now, it gets a little bit tricky because we need to know what the height is. The height is not 5 because that's when we filled the whole thing up. I want to know what h is, and this is at 100 minutes. And so the way I'm going to figure that out is using this volume equation. So I'm going to switch colors and go off to the side. <clears throat> Running out of space here. We'll go under here. So V equals 100 H squared, and this is at T equals 100. Then the volume is 100. We can divide both sides by 100. 1 equals H squared, so the height is 1. That worked out nicely. I don't think it works out as nicely in Math Excel. Maybe one version of it does. Who knows? Okay, so back to where we were. dv dt was given to us in the problem. So I'm going to switch back to red. dv dt was 1. We're filling it at a rate of 1. So 200 times 1 times dh dt. So then to get dh dt, we're going to divide both sides by 200. So dh dt equals 1 divided by 200. The units for height would be in meters, and the units for time would be in minutes. And then the last question it's going to ask is how long would it take to fill the pool? Since we're going at one meter cubed per minute, I really just need to know what the total volume is. Because at one meter cubed per minute, that's how long it'll take. So total volume we'll do in green over here. We've got the volume of the triangular portion, which I already figured out. And then we're going to have the volume of the tiny rectangular portion. So length times width times height, 1 times 50 times 20. 50 times 20 is 1,000. So the total volume would be 2,500 plus 1,000, um, which is 3,500. And that's the total volume. The question asks for how long it would take. So at one meter cubed per minute, 3,500 meters cubed would take 3,500 minutes. Um, it's possible that I screwed something up. So email me if you think I did or ask me in class. Otherwise, hope this helps. Feel free to watch it more than once. Here's the quick summary of what I did. So. We had to figure out whether we had filled up the triangular prism portion or not. And at this time, we have not filled it up yet. So we need to set up similar triangles to relate the height and the, I don't know, let's call it the base and the height of the triangle, to relate these two sides 
we have to set up a similar triangle with the overall length and then not the overall depth, but the difference in the depths. So the difference in the depths was five. The triangular portion was just five. So set up that similar triangle, solve for X in terms of H, and then plug that in to the overall volume equation. Base times height, in this case, the base is one half times X times H times the height, which is 20. That helps you come up with the volume equation for the water in any time before it hits this number. So as long as this number is less than that number, you want to use this equation. Now this equation will be different depending on the numbers that you guys get. Um, and getting to this is the hard part. The calculus is fairly straightforward after that. It's getting to the part where you're allowed to do calculus. All right, now I'm just rambling. Bye.